Black on the Jordan battle. Jordan, how did it feel to get out there today, practice, work with Robert, and uh, get your feet rolled a little bit? Yeah, uh, it felt surreal. Uh, it felt great um, coming into a winning organization, uh, Cincinnati Bengals, uh, coming from Alabama. Uh, so, so a guy who knows how to win, uh, stepping out on the field today, uh, just like thinking like it's just dreams come true. Uh, usually, usually guys don't don't make it this far, and um, just 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 being a guy who did make it this far, and then taking it all in and and, and giving it all, giving my all. I'm sure you saw this week in Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, of course it was worth the wait. Um, and he just getting drafted was was the was the uh, goal of mine. Uh, just get drafted, uh, get drafted to a great team, which is uh, just which is what happened, uh, and, and a team who who can compete for a Super Bowl, who was in the Super Bowl before. So uh, just just trying to get that Super Bowl in. One advantage you have obviously is head coach Dave and Daniel. Mm -hmm. Very high expectations for you. You step on the practice field, let alone game field. Coming here, how does that help you to keep on your level? Yeah, of course. Um, coming from Bama, a complex defense. Um, uh, guys, guys who who played there uh, know uh, you have to be smart to get on the field. Um, have to be smart, be be comfortable in the playbook, uh, in any situation in the, in a game or, or in practice. Uh, just just being comfortable and being able to play play mind with your mind free and, and be able to play fast. I'm not sure that I've ever heard the Bengals coaches sound more impressed by the combine. Mm -hmm. than yours. You see Joe Burrow, but it's <laughs> yeah. you two guys. Uh, could you tell when you're in that room for whatever that is, 14 minutes, that, hmm, they, they seem to really like me? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, that was kind of the goal going into every uh, single interview. Uh, how can I make how can I make these guys uh, like me? How can I how can I make them want to draft me? You know, uh, just just showing off my, my how smart I am. Uh, I, I kind of got shy away from trying to say that, but it's, I got to realize that it's a gift to be uh, smart on the field and uh, just take that all in. A, a guy who can learn quickly and a, and a guy who can who can take that to the field and translate it. Uh, a guy who tried to be in my studies a lot. So um, just 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 doing that and, and trying to play early as, po as possible. When they put on the tape, they said it was almost like you knew what plays were coming in advance. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you didn't, but <laughs> did you study a lot of your own tape to be prepared for that moment? Yeah, it was. It was that, and you know, a lot of game film um, with the team. Uh, a lot of, a lot of times, um, you have to come into a game. You have to know what to be prepared for. Uh, you got to know your weaknesses from the past game. Um, you got to know what, how can you turn your weaknesses into your strengths in the next game because you know the next, the next team, the next opponent is going to try to attack you. So uh, anyway, you can get an advantage coming into a game. They sound really confident that you will know this defensive playbook inside and outside of the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably, probably because um, you know. Rob Livingston always talks about it, uh, how he knows Pete Golden. Um, and, and obviously, if you're if you're under Coach Saban, you know it's a complex defense. Um, so probably just me coming from Bama and, and, and playing early, uh, playing as a freshman, um, and, and knowing, the, knowing the playbook and learning it early is probably uh, the reason why they have that in mind. What have you done since the draft? Uh, since the draft, uh, probably just work out. Uh, obviously, party with the family. Uh, uh, so probably since I – before I even came down here, so been partying that long. Uh, my my parents can't get enough, so I'm I'm proud and, and they're proud as well. Can you describe what it was like the feeling to get drafted? Yeah, uh, kind of. I was I mean, like before I was playing like Uno, so like my mind was free. I was just you know just vibing, and then I was like, oh shoot, like my phone ringing. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody put the cards down. And I answer the phone. Uh, it's Coach Coach Taylor, and I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh yeah. I'm going into a winning program. I'm going to Super Bowl. So it was it was kind of surreal. Uh, it was great. Uh, like I said, uh, dreams to reality uh, and, and looking for that next step now. Since the pick, have you looked at the Bengals roster, looked at the other guys in the secondary and tried to get a sense of who to? Yeah. Um, got, obviously, Mike Hilton, uh, Woozy, Woozy A, uh, Dax. Got Nick Scott from the Rams. So um, just, just understanding those guys, Cam Tay. Uh, just, just trying to connect with those guys. Uh, we got to. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hit me. Um, I, I got a, on a Facetime call with them guys. Uh, so just, just you know, connecting with them guys and, and them welcoming me to the, to the, uh, to the facility and to the team was was great. Who initiated the Facetime call? Mike Hill. Yeah. Probably the, you know, the vet of the group. Um, 
the 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 guy with all the all the brains, all the smart. So he welcomed me. We did like an I thirty little study film with a couple other guys. What's his message? Um, just just come out and and, and be be a winner. Be you. Uh, be comfortable. Uh, yes, it's you. You're a rookie, but you're not. You know, you you coming into a situation. You've been there before. You played at Alabama. You know, uh, just just be comfortable with yourself. Uh, be you. Bring that. Bring out that personality. You know, and, and lead however you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that comes with uh, understanding the playbook, uh, understanding what the team is giving you. That helps you uh, play fast and play with instincts. Uh, when you know when you know what the office is trying to trying to do, when you know what the office is trying to give or, or attack, it, it makes you it makes you uh, look at it and and read and, and play faster. Yeah.